Hey everybody. So I'm doing a very impromptu pen sketch. I just felt like making something. I have not been able to concentrate on creating anything good. And I thought it's just I just felt like coming live. So here I am. Let's see. I don't know how many people will join in, but in another two or three minutes, I start creating. Uh, what I'm doing is an impromptu pen sketch. and uh, hello everybody so i don't know who's going to come in because i was not planning to come live uh, but then i just felt like doing something so we'll see what it uh, i'll show you what i'm making though i i have been searching some references and uh, let me just see whether that's photo go okay this is what we are going to be creating today and uh, I'll do it in pen. Then, if I feel like and there's time, then maybe I might just shift to watercolors also. Otherwise, of course, we'll just uh, do a, a pen work. I haven't been coming lives, I know this month, uh, but I'll be just trying to figure out what needs to be done, how to go about, you know, uh, like after putting in so much effort, also since Instagram did not really promote, so I need to figure out a better strategy to work with. But yeah, if you guys want to keep create along, get your papers, get your pens. I'll wait for a minute. Uh, you can get your fine liners. You can work with pencils. And if you want to color, of course, you're most welcome to. So I hope everybody is doing well. I'll uh, probably start. All right. Just let me know in the comments if you'll have any issues or you all can't see something or anything yeah this one second just give me a second guys i'll just arrange and uh, right this is what we're going to be making today so i hope you all are all also going to just create along i know it's a very random thing that i'm doing Hello everybody, hello, hello, hello. Hi Shalini, hi Snigda. Alright guys, let's start. If you all want, I mean, I will be talking in between, but I'm not really teaching, teaching. But of course, I've, I guess when I'm doing it, it's going to happen. I'm taking a point to micron pen. And uh, just figuring out where to start from. So... Yeah, I'm just marking the rooftop so I know where we're going to end. Alright. So just starting with a small V kind of a surface. Okay guys, if you want to create along, you can sketch along with me. Uh, I'll show you all the reference again in a minute. And even if you all don't want to, I'll see, probably save the live again on uh, IGTV. So how have you guys been doing? What's been happening? How are you all uh, having any celebrations going on? Festivals going on? Hi Tulika. Alright, so we just made a V as the roof. So there's this sketch challenge by R. Lopez sketch, which is quite famous. So, I mean, a lot of people have recreated this and I, I kind of like it because uh, it's got doors and, uh, you know, very archaic kind of structure. So let's see. All right. So guys, if you all want to create along, uh, you can do it with a pencil. Uh, or you can just, of course, sketch along with me with a pen. Yes. Everybody is going to be celebrating. A lot of people are going to be celebrating today and tomorrow and day after, of course. Right. So this is just under the roof. What I'm doing first is I'm just getting some boundaries. We are not doing much detailing first. But we need to know where we are. Okay.
if you guys have any questions or anything you need to ask me feel free to ask hi prajakta again this is just a very random impromptu decision to come live right so this was the top roof area that i've just uh, marked so that i know where we are this is the area that we're working with so as you can see i marked the boundary so now whatever i'm working is going to be underneath that right so we're just going to mark a little bit of the plant area and then we start working downwards anybody use drawing today i don't expect anyone because i'm not actually informed anyone that i was coming live so but if you all are that's awesome just marking the plants and the bushes right and uh, there is some sort of a structure here let me just try and see if i can zoom it okay yeah so these are the stones which are there and uh, there is a door here so there are there are two doors uh, one is on the top and one is on the bottom so we need to kind of take care of that perspective i am planning to come up uh, with some courses on urban sketching plus uh, there is an app called uh, go social where we just got selected as a sketch ambassador and uh, yeah those things will also get announced soon so just making a door not a very straight door so i'm just kind of getting that into the picture and there is a second door here which is going to look a little more flatter so we'll take that into consideration so very good evening to everybody who's joining in without any prior notice still there's a decent number so thank you everybody what's been happening who's been creating stuff how is instagram been treating you all anybody drawing along so we just made the roof we made the design of the two doors uh so now what happens is where this door comes so i know that this is where the road needs to end so i'm just marking that and drawing a rough line so that i know that this is the kind of perspective that we are going to be working on right anybody who has any doubts feel free to ask me again this was not planned i just have come in very very randomly okay so i have been trying out pen sketches also more i mean i used to do them quite a lot earlier before i used to do ink and watercolors so let's see that whether i'll color it or not or i'm just trying to see if i should put up a series of black and whites this pen works right so these are some pots that are coming around and there's like a like a mini hs staircase kind of a thing so we just take that into account so how will the staircase be we'll have to take that also into perspective considering that this is the picture this sort of a well or i don't know what is that not a well but sort of a big stone here okay i i will keep getting the reference in between today i don't have the third phone so this is what we've done so far we made this uh, roof we made the two doors we marked the trees we marked this area now we starting to work in this area hi amita all right anybody any questions somebody who is not understood something hi poravi 
सो दिस इज अ वेरी वियर्ड इम प्रॉम टू पेन स्केच दैट आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग आउट ओके बिकॉज माइट इज वेल सिंस रादर देन ट्राइंग आउट अलोन आई माइट इज वेल जस्ट कम ऑनलाइन एंड डू इट सो दैट पीपल कैन ऑल्सो ट्राई अलोंग राइट सो आई एम जस्ट मैकिंग सम सॉर्ट ऑफ दीज आर पॉट्स एंड फ्लावर्स एंड प्लांट्स विच अगेन वी डोंट नीड एनी डिटेल्स फॉर सो यू जस्ट गो नो रैंडमली मार्क सम स्क्रिबल्स Yeah, it's a very beautiful reference, actually. That's that's kind of why I I really liked it. Is it still seen in the screen? Yeah. So since I I haven't taken a screenshot or anything, I have to keep zooming. Right. I'm just randomly drawing some plants. And a pot. Okay. There is another pot which is behind this, so we kind of need to put it behind the staircase. Right. So this might look a little bit jumbled up because there are a lot of pots here. It doesn't really matter. You can just make some pots. so what i'm doing before i start any hatch work or any pen work i'm just getting the entire sketch ready i am not using any pencil i'm just working with the pen itself you guys are free to try out whatever you feel like doing anybody any questions guys anything you're not understanding so far anything you want to ask me feel free to ask the live will be saved on igtv so you can try that out as well and you can even tag tag the challenge people person r lopez underscore sketch and there's a hashtag with it so i'll put all of that in the igtv because a lot of urban sketches have done this right so I'm doing a little quick work comparatively of course I'm not uh, spending excessive time on this So when you're sketching this is the kind of speed you should also try to aim for while taking care of the perspective and uh, proportioning I mean if you're actually like urban sketching or you know would you would you all be interested in a urban sketching program Because I need to figure out one thing that I should concentrate on. I mean, the doors were of course there, and they will always be there. But uh, I don't know. Nothing's happened post that. The illustrations are doing much better because I'm teaching them. Okay, and I'm just marking the horizon kind of a point here. This is all bush area, the road. Okay, guys. So that actually completes a basic sketch where all the necessary boundaries are done. Okay, I'll repeat. I'll just show you all the reference and our boundaries are done. So what we did, we marked the roof, we marked this area, we marked the other back part of the building, we marked the trees and the plants, we got the two doors, we got the pots. we got the staircase we got this line which is the road going downwards and the border of that all right so according to this image from whatever i can see i've covered all the basic uh, boundaries now i'll start working with the pen and getting in details anybody any questions anybody who wants to ask me something I don't know who all are here and who's creating or who's actually making along. So I'll give you guys one minute to ask me if there are any questions, or else I will proceed. 
All right, so since there are no questions, I'll start working on the roof. So the first thing for the roof, we'll get some tile effect in or the, you know, the roof effect in. So I'm just making these kind of strokes. Can you see this? So automatically, we'll be we, it'll look like there is something underneath the roof. Okay, so whoever is joining in now, we are doing a pen sketch. Uh, I'm getting some leaves and trees inside. We're not going to get too much detail into the plants and all that. That's not required. But of course, we're just going to get some sort of strokes and hashes inside. So can you see how I'm just moving my pen in some strokes and some direction? So the idea is to get the effect of plants, but uh, not get too much into the hassles of it right so now you now this looks like a small tree or you know looks like a bush right and because this is behind so we need to add a little more depth to it by creating some more strokes to this one right hi amrita so how is the bush so far or clear any questions i've never made a sky with pen so i don't know if it's actually done but as far as i know nobody does that <laughs> uh, but uh, if somebody knows how to do that you can suggest to me uh good evening good evening uh yes unless instagram gives me an issue of course the live will be saved and you guys can also try this along because uh, there is a there is like a this is an urban sketch challenge by somebody so in fact people will be able to see your work also much more likely right now i'm just getting some tiles on the roof okay so you can see i'm just Hi. making some kind of curvatures here Some a little nearby, some a little bit distant. And in between, I'll just give a little bit of this hash work. Okay, just a little of this stroke so that it looks more realistic. Okay, yeah, actually the clouds are made by hiding. I'm just kidding. I also know, but I, it, I don't think it will look very nice in this particular scenario because a lot of work coming here. But thank you for that suggestion. Right? Same thing, I'm going to get these tiles, these roof markings here. And you can see I'm just, whatever is dark, I will make start making that darker right now itself. I'm not going to wait for the entire painting to, uh, the entire sketch to get done. I'm going to start working and creating that instantly. Okay. Uh, I, I just missed the last comment about the urban uh, what's the name of the urban sketch challenge it's it's some uh, something in Spanish or something uh, it's it's a little house in Terrenes in Ponga National Park there's a hashtag called Dibujan Do Kastar Neris uh, I'll just maybe add it to the story uh, on my on my story after we finish this so that uh, everybody knows where we are right now, whatever is light, I won't really leave, you know, add a lot of details to it. Under that, of course, where I want the shadow, I'm going to start hashing there. So here I want the shadow to come in. So I'm going to get these strokes in that area. Right. So all this is going to be a shadow. So I'm just going to add all these strokes here. So automatically what the strokes do, they start giving depth. Hi Ravi, hi Atli, yours. Okay, and there are these bricks. So I'm going to get these effects of bricks uh, across. Some dark, some light. So I don't need to create all the bricks. But I need to be a little more giving the effect that the bricks are there. Okay, so as you can see, by doing this much itself, it starts looking like there is some depth to this.
is everybody clear so far anybody who's not understood what i did right now okay so i'm just completing from the left to right so that it's easier to work nothing not nothing particular in that sense but uh, since i'm doing a live where i can't move anything so it's just easier to work here there's also a bush kind of a surface here and there are some rocks here so we'll just get those rocks in now especially in the rocks between the rocks you're going to get some amount of depth and the rest it is going to give a little bit of hatching hatching is basically the strokes that you're giving the with the pen the amount of pressure you give it the direction that you give it in that determines the kind of effect that you want to create and it's about being very loose with it you don't need to really get uh, when you're doing this kind of sketch don't try to get too much detail in or you know try to think about whether it's exactly how it's supposed to be it's more about trying to get the entire picture together okay so leaving some dots leaving some strokes again the subject is here so i won't be focusing extra everywhere but we need to of course finish it so that it looks more uniform and wherever it's you want to get something in the front you keep it lighter okay so can you all see that effect has starting to come in okay it's going to look much better once we actually finish the sketch okay this is just to get some effect that there are stones there right thank you okay same thing underneath this i'm just going to get a little bit of this hatch work done now here i'm going to keep very light hatch because it's sort of a lighter area i'm going to continue this with the same kind of effect right so i hope you guys can see with one pen okay all of this is still getting done with only one pen i'm not changed the pen in fact if i change the pen i can add more depth into it and get better strokes but i'm just showing you all even with one pen all of this is possible right and uh, here of course we're going to add a little bit of these kind of hatches the reason we are doing this is of course to get some depth in so can you see now this looks a little bit deeper just by adding these little bit pen lines automatically this looks a little bit behind yeah anybody who's not understanding or has some question please feel to free to ask hi dimple good to see you how have you been your your son's really grown up quite a lot Okay so I'm getting some some of these random stones effect inside Thank you artist creation So I'm just seeing if if the response to these kind of works is also good not good you know let me see So I I understand what kind of works to focus on So do you guys prefer 
uh, illustrations or do you prefer these kind of sketches do you prefer only the door paintings why i'm asking is because uh, obviously i'm working on those lines only but uh, i i get some idea on how to plan my content also and uh, yeah get some idea on how to get more uh exposure right so i'm adding these markings with the pen okay all good so far anybody who wants to ask me something or has a question i'll just wait for 2 minutes i'll just pause and i'll ask answer any questions if you all have okay same thing i'm just adding a little depth here so that it looks distinct from the roof can you see this so now you can see the roof as well now this i want to make it as dark okay because i want the effect of light to come there <laughs> ravi that's very kind of you thank you so much okay and just getting a little bit of this depth in the roof area and then we start working downwards okay so getting some stones so we're going to get the effect of stones now again these are all random stones so don't worry about getting any details right now but uh, first just fill the entire area with these stones and then we start doing the hatch work okay for those who are joining in now this is the reference that i'm working from it's a challenge by r lopez sketch uh, with some hashtag called dibujan doka staran is which i don't know what it means but yeah yes according to me also black and white sketches have their own beauty thank you anjali but i i try and mix and match the kind of work i do also so like illustrations are also something i really enjoy making because they're very free uh so i've sort of now narrowed down my work in that aspect like now i don't try to create too many other things right so i'm just making all these door uh stones you keep some stones a little lighter maybe and uh, some you'll keep darker thank you so much lisa thank you so much i i was in your live and i saw that beautiful uh woman with the floral patterns and they were amazing i mean i'd seen the painting also so i know it was just brilliant and but actually seeing it live was another experience okay thank you tanu right so guys i'm just sort of, sort of making the rocks at the moment right now there's nothing else that's happening now as i go down i'm slightly reducing the pressure on the pen if you can realize because i want to keep it more and more lighter as we go this side okay i'm not started the door i've not made anything in the other sides we've just finished this much of the area now we start working this area this area and lastly here this is actually a workshop kind of an artwork probably but since i was doing it any which way so i thought let me just come live and do it right very random again and as you can see i'm still not making the strokes i'll start making the strokes very soon now you are and even go even lighter i'll just get the effect that there is some marking i won't actually try and even join the lines right so that completes the sketch in this much of an area now let's start working with the door 
so looking at the door it's it's very black which means i i definitely need to highlight and uh, yeah, highlight the other areas and keep this sufficiently dark so let me start with the hatching okay so a good idea here would be to shift to a larger pen because it's a very big area to finish and i'll be wasting a lot of time if i just work with the smaller pen not that i cannot but it will just take a lot of time All right so i've shifted to a 0.8 so that gives me more depth and lesser strokes will still give me the same kind of an effect right so what i'm doing first guys is i'm just adding the vertical strokes before adding any other stroke i'm adding the vertical stroke and between the pots wherever i need to make it dark i'm making that dark initially right i repeat this is the first stroke that i'm doing which is only in the vertical direction leaving the plant area empty now there are two three options that you can try one is a diagonal kind of a hash okay again in some areas it's going to be lighter so you need to kind of plan that in advance okay same thing over here or you can slightly just go a little diagonally and get the cross hatch effect i am using the brustro fine liners right now i am using a 0.8 first i was using a 0.2 but since this is a bigger area i just shifted to a and you know uh, this pen so that it's easier to work with okay okay awesome guys all okay now i'm just adding a little bit of depth here also because there is something here only for the doors i have taken this because it's the darkest area right the pen nib does not determine the darkness it just determines the width of the strokes so it makes it easier to work in a darker area okay Yes, Inktober is coming this time. I want to see if I can actually. I've never participated in Inktober, you know. So I I want to see if I I do it this time. Let's see. Okay, I am I'm working on the second door. Same thing. I will start working with the vertical strokes now. The other I'll keep more vertical strokes because it's almost in this direction. Right, and I leave a little space in between. uh just to give the effect that the, the wood is sort of you know uh, lighter in that area so just if you'll carefully see once it's a little darker you'll see that effect and the reason i'm keeping only vertical kind of strokes here is it will give a more woody kind of an effect here there's no right or wrong on how you make it according to my understanding it's about trying hi vinny okay and uh, that will give you this nice door you can see this nice effect that's come in between also so it looks like there's a wooden panel or you know but there is some space right and the top portions will make them of course a little lighter because they are slightly grayer we don't want it to be as dark as the black area otherwise it won't be seen
right so you can see by the control that i have on my pen also the effect that i'm giving okay so i don't really do pencil shading since i don't remember when i need to get back to that as well but because i've since long working with fine liners only so i have better control so you can now see this part of the door right can you all see the effect that's come in uh is it clear enough do i need to zoom in or something you guys have not told me anything today probably because i have not prepared but still now i just finish this much of the area and then we'll move forward okay so now getting the pots in order again i'll make the pots in such a way that i get depth in between the pots so that the pots are clearly seen right so when i add these dark strokes in between the pots you guys know that these are the areas where the pots are there thank you so much right and we we'll add now i've taken the smaller pen with that i'm just adding a little strokes in the pots and some in the bushes okay but in the pots i'm going to draw these kind of strokes for the simplest reason that it will look like there's something there and on the staircase i'll do a little horizontal strokes slight horizontal strokes so by changing the direction of this you know the strokes also i am getting the effect that there are multiple things involved here again this is quite far so we don't need to get all the details in it i am using brustro fine liners i used a 0.2 and i used the 0.8 okay and i'm just adding these uh, grasses with the thicker pen again this is so that we can complete this area before we just you know sort of move to the other area uh i'm using thicker pens again because they are easier to work with when you want to get these kind of effects uh but if you want a smaller finer effect then you should select the smaller pen okay this is the road so i'm just making the road So the same thing applies when I use brushes. Also, I usually just use two brushes: one thick brush and one thinner brush, uh, because they do the job. Same way, even here, I often just use two pens. The reason being that it kind of just makes the job easier. Okay. Then there is something over here which I don't know. It's like a well, or not a well. Actually, it's probably a storage kind of a rock. But we need to get that also in place. so getting some strokes on it and here we get a little horizontal kind of stroke okay so that's how we've got this kind of an effect adding some just random strokes around and uh, a little bit of the road i'm just marking with some horizontal lines okay to diagonal not horizontal but just to get the effect that there is depth on the road okay all clear guys are you all enjoying the live and uh, is the effect of the pen starting to come in so these are just some random strokes not not that they particularly need to be done or something but we want to kind of get some effect onto the paper so we do give these kind of strokes this is the road so those strokes of course need to come in so i don't think i have done a pen live right have i done a pen live before like just a pen 
sketch. If I'm not mistaken, I haven't. But then, right. So now I'm just going to start doing the hash work. Okay. So this side, of course, we'll keep a little darker, and uh, underneath the roof, we're going to keep it a little darker. And as we move forward, we're going to start making the hashes much more lighter. So here, I'm just taking some longer ones giving a little strokes in between and just a random hatch is here Yeah, mandala and door is the yeah. So yeah, so I've done a door, right? Yeah, that's how Amita you you even know me, right? So the door was done on on a live. Thank you for reminding me that. That too was a very unplanned live. Uh, I mean, Sakshi just called. I had, I did not even know Sakshi before that, uh, but somehow the other the artist who was going to come cancelled. And uh, Sakshi is like, are you available? And coincidentally, I had just reached home like 15, 20 minutes back. And I said, yes, okay. I mean, uh, I, I didn't know what to do. So I, let's do it. But yeah. So you can see how I'm just adding a little bit of these strokes. And again, I'll add a little depth. over here I'm just slightly lightening if if you guys can realize it I'm just slightly lightening it as I go forward You guys can let me know if it's looking decent not looking decent we're almost done with it just a little bit more but more or less we're done with it thank you so much Just adding a little bit of this hatch work just to give the stones a little life, you know. Yeah, I'll zoom in. Okay. So I hope that is zoomed in enough. Just adding some final details, like getting a little more depth on the door, on the road. little bit on the tiles here okay as such i don't really need to do more i mean it's it's pretty fairly done but if you want on the rocks like you know you can just add a little bit of, of this kind of strokes 
Yes, yeah, so this is the reference uh, photo that I just converted into a pen sketch. This is a challenge, an urban sketch challenge by a f by somebody called R. Lopez Sketch. So a lot of them, I mean, have made watercolor works, but I just sort of decided to do an ink work. Just see now I'm just giving these little bit of strokes in between just to get some depth and some effect of you know some texture to it. But I think we're pretty pretty okay now. The rock is looking good. This is also standing out. Right. So let me sign this, of course. And I think that that's a pretty decent, decent result. You guys can let me know. No, I don't plan to color this one. I am planning to keep it black and white. That's why the amount of strokes that I've given in the pen. If I was going to color it, I wouldn't uh, use so many strokes. So that's that no of course I'm not going to color this the effect is meant to give the effect of pen only my door is a little bit crooked which I am now realizing because I was sitting that's okay so that's it guys I hope you all enjoyed the live sketch that I just did today this is what we just created I again do not know whether it's great not great or whatever it is but this is what I have made this is the original reference and this is what we just created how do I get inspiration for making these or do you just sketch real life figures so I don't do figures I like architecture and uh, buildings and doors and everyday objects which are all inanimate and I can bring them to life with my artwork. That's that's how I kind of enjoy converting photographs into artworks. Thank you everybody. <coughs> sorry. So yeah, sorry for not informing you guys about uh, me coming live. But uh, I hope you all, all enjoy. Do share the live with your friends and i'll post in a, a better photo maybe tomorrow but for now i'll just keep the igtv on my page and uh, i'll be announcing the go social thing once they tell us exactly what it is uh, but there are some sketching uh, daily community uh, so i'm going to be monitoring that and there are going to be some streak fests so let's see how that also turns out to be and yeah, so so I am planning courses only now. I'm rather than planning workshops, I'm thinking of starting courses. So that gets you know uh, more stable. Like I I know what I'm doing. So watercolor course, pen course, urban sketching course. I mean, but you guys can give me a suggestion. Is that more sensible or, or is it just workshops are better? Like courses where I actually go from beginner to teach you how I think and everything or even in workshops I of course teach all that but a little more structured format what is better is, it, is a workshop better or is a course better you guys can just let me know so I also can start thinking because by uh, next month I want to get all of that sorted this month I'm really not I'm not planned anything well enough Thank you, Ravi. 
so let's see how things pan out and how things go forward please do share uh, the live and the work with your friends add it to your stories so that people can also get to see this and uh, yeah i'll see all of you guys soon i will i will be coming live on uh, go social as soon as they tell us when uh but i'm not sure they'll they'll probably confirm tomorrow and uh, anupam i'm coming live on anupam on uh, sunday i think 12th is sunday so i think anupam i'm coming live. how do i differentiate between a workshop and a course a workshop is just one artwork that is taken and done maybe in uh, one session or ma- maximum two Okay, Anjali. So maybe I should. I also read the cards, but I don't do it for myself. So maybe, but I should probably do it. Hi, Shalini. What's up? See, I just made this. Abhi live pe banana hai. But uh, Anjali, you can probably tell me if there is some advice coming. All right. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night and uh, see you all all very soon. Thank you for joining in, even though I did not inform you all. <laughs> Still, sixteen people are there, so thank you for that. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye bye. Have a good night.